When we balance chemical equations, we can't change the subscripts. And the subscripts, they're the numbers after the element symbol, these little numbers here. And if there's no number written, we assume that to be 1. And the reason it's wrong to change the subscripts when we're balancing equations is that when you change the subscripts, you actually change the identity of the chemical compound. You made a new compound. For example, we have oxygen here, O2. But if we change this 2 to a 3, now we have ozone. And ozone doesn't support biological life like oxygen, which we breathe does. So we can't change the subscripts. Then what can we change? The things we can change are the coefficient. These are the numbers in front of the compounds. Right now, we don't see any. And if you don't see any, you assume it to be 1. When we balance an equation, we change the coefficients. So let's see how that works. So to start balancing, I'm going to set this up like a table. I have my reactants and they're going to change into my products. That's a chemical reaction. So I'll count the atoms up. I have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen on each side of the equation. And now I'll add the subscripts up for each of the elements. For carbon, I only have a 1 there. Hydrogen, the subscript is 4. And then oxygen, I have 2. On the product side, I have 1 carbon. I have 2 hydrogens and 2 oxygens here. And we need to remember we have one right here. So I have three oxygens. To balance the equation, we want these numbers to be the same as these. So we can change the coefficients, but we can't change the subscripts. Let's put a 2 in front of the H2O. This 2, it applies to everything. So we have 2 times the 2. That'll give us 4. And now we need to change these numbers here to reflect what we have up in the equation. 2 is our subscript here, so we have 2 oxygen atoms, plus we have 1 as our subscript times the coefficient 2. So 1 times 2, that's 2. And now we have 4 oxygen atoms, but our hydrogen atoms, those are the same. To fix this, we can change the coefficient in front of the O2 to 2. So now we have 2 O2 molecules, 2 times 2. That'll give us 4, and now everything is the same on each side of the equation. We say this equation is balanced. So to recap, to balance the equation, we can change the numbers in front, the coefficients, but we can't change the subscripts, these small numbers, after each element symbol. This is Dr. B with changing subscripts and coefficients and how to do it. Thanks for watching.